What's up everybody? I'm snapping and I'm vlogging at the same time. <laughs> it's just crazy, but uh, welcome to the vlog. So I just got done doing the yard, cutting the grass and shit. Snapchat. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can, oh shit, here we go. So y'all can freaking, you know what I'm saying, see my vlogs and all that shit like that. So I'm doing a little bit of double action right now. As you can see, say hi to one another. But uh, YouTube channel on my right hand, snap in my left hand. But anyway, so yeah. Freaking gonna be a long ass day, but I'm about to get ready. So, no, all right, I ain't done this in a while, so we're gonna do this shit again. So, all right, get ready in three, two, one. Boy's back, so fit it. So, now I'm about to go uh, run these errands real quick. Yeah, so then come back. Do a little bit of business, so I might take y'all with me to a couple places. We'll see, so stay tuned for that. Oh, all right, well, got that settled at the bank. Had to work my magic a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, the way you talk and making eye contact, you know, there's a number of females in there, so I had to kind of did my thing, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we got the mission accomplished, the most important thing, so uh, yeah. On to the next man. It's a chance to do not be angry and keep going on cause it's all you have. Sometimes you bet your life. What So, as you can see, I got more than one pair of shoes. What happened was, I found a deal. I have never, right, never spent over $100 on shoes, ever in my life. Still to this day, I got two pairs of shoes for under $100, right? Now, I got the socks, threw it over $100, whatever, I need socks bad too. But I, I just don't do it, man. Like. I'm not a sneakerhead, man. I ain't gotta have Jordans. I ain't gotta have all that shit. I just had to have shoes that are comfortable and that I could work out in. So I'm, I'm gonna show them to you, but it's not like, you know what I'm saying? I'm showing them to you for you to be like, oh my God, this is the dopest, sickest shoes I've ever seen in my life. Nah, they're not. But I mean, they're gonna, get the, they're gonna get the job done. So I got the same um, type of shoe. It's two different colors. So I got these or whatever. So I got red. This is red, black, and white. And then I got the same shit in black and white, right? It was the only, like, I love black. I love black, right? If I don't fuck with black, I love red, so. Plus, I'm a U of L fan. U of L basketball, college basketball, D1 basketball. I know we kind of in the slump right now because of shit that happened, but that's my team, ride or die. I'm cheap, man. Like, I, I make good money. You know what I'm saying? Especially for this area, I make good money. Um, but... You, you gotta be frugal sometimes, man. Like, sometimes you gotta freaking get shit that you need, and it's okay to get things that, um, to treat yourself sometimes. But I really, I really need the shoes. Like, I've had the same shoes for almost two years now. No, more than two years. Two and a half years now. Almost three. And they were fucking my feet up. It was time. But now it's time to get into this damn pre workout meal. Okay, it's my pre workout meal every single day. Um, so, two slices of toast. Um, old brand, some stevia in there, and I got 99% uh, lean ground turkey, 8 ounces, sriracha, low sodium, low um, sugar, ketchup on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get this in and get it digested, and then we're going to try to freaking get to the gym. And I'm also, 
watching some of that old school bodybuilding, you know what I'm saying, for uh, motivation. So I ain't new to this, I'm true to this, man. This is back, this is the show that, like, uh, the Arnold Classic in the early 90s. And I remember this shit on ESPN. And this kind of shows you how long I've been in the game. Put a post on Facebook. You can see it. So, uh, there's people liking and people saying, yeah, I need to work out, or I just got done working out, but I haven't got anybody to really bite. Oh my god. Focus. Focus. Shout out to Joe, whatever he says he's there. I'm not going to that gym. Hopefully, um, get somebody. It's a little late notice. I don't know, man. If not, I got y'all next time, but we gonna see. Alright. See y'all a little bit later. Alright, so apparently nobody's about that life, so... But listen, I feel like I'm gonna still do my due diligence and I'm gonna give y'all some advice, man. What I've been getting asked lately is, um, you know, what's the best diet, the best workout, starting out, um, you know, how many, how many times a week should you train? The biggest thing that you want to do and try to focus on is being consistent. I don't care what trainer you have, I don't care what diet you have, I don't care what you're taking. If you're not consistent, you're not gonna get anywhere. And if you ha don't have self-motivation, you're not gonna fucking do it. You have to figure out why you wanna do this shit. And if you can figure out what that why is, then play off that why and let that be the reason for your consistency too. Because that's the number one thing. That's where you need to start before you do anything. Set out a schedule. I'm going to work out plus amount of days. Uh, this is day one, June the 1st. Day, the final day is going to be three months from now. It's going to be whatever month on this day. Too many people start a race without a finish line to so live forever running. Right? That's, so that is the most important thing. You could do three days a week and be perfectly fine with that. And I want y'all to comment below for specific questions and I'll answer them in that regard. But three days a week, man, can get you very far. 45 minute sessions, you don't gotta be in the gym all fucking day, right? So three, so this new camera, I keep on looking at the screen of myself and shit, you can flip the screen back, so that's the reason why it looks kinda fucked up. When you're new to this, like working out or anything, you're gonna progress quickly at an accelerated rate. It's like a baby. A baby, a human being grows an accelerated rate at the first year, right? Grows at a phenomenal rate. And then we stop growing so quickly. If we didn't, we'd be like 15 feet tall and like 900 pounds, right? But that first year that you're doing this, you're gonna yield a great result. And you really don't have to do too much shit. But as you progress, as your body starts adapting to when you're putting it through, you know, you can start hitting plateaus and shit like that, and then you gotta change shit up, right? Which is normal. But my point is, just pick something and stick with it. Stick with it. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday. Be consistent, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get to the gym, and I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna eat again, and I don't know, I might fucking, I don't know, man. I got so much shit I gotta do still, but um, I'm enjoying my new shoes, because I don't get new shoes very often. And I don't give a fuck if y'all talking about my shit and saying that they're grimy or whatever. It, it, it's, it's fucking new shoes to me, man. So I'm, I'm kind of a little stoked about that shit right now, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I will talk to y'all in three, two, one. Well, remember how I told you that none of this is going to be scripted? Like the series, I don't have a plan throughout my day. I don't, I'm not, you know, I don't have a script, none of that shit. Here's what happened. So I went to church with my mom, and I told you I was taking y'all with, with me, right? Well, 
got to my mom's, you know, we were rushing. She, you know, her health is not doing so good. She has a wheelchair now. Cause she, you know, for long distance and stuff like that. So, had to get that load up my dad's trailer. We got to church, went in, and it shows you that, you know, bodybuilders or whatever, we're not perfect neither. So, I thought I had my meals planned out. I brought a meal with me. However, you know, if you go to a black church, you know, you're going to be there for a while. I should have been better prepared. So then, you know, 12 o'clock came. So then now one o'clock's about to come, and I, you know, by mind you, I eat every two two hours. So, you know, to my mom, and you know, my mom's understanding. She knows what time it is. Um, I didn't have to tell her why. She knew why. You know what I'm saying? She's like, "Just call me later." I know. I understand. So I dipped, came straight home, ate, and then passed the fuck out. Person I'm dating right now has a has a newborn child or whatever. Or she's like, I don't know, a few months old now cries like you know uh, quite a bit most babies do during the night which my kids are older like my youngest daughter is she just turned five right so i've had i've been out of that realm so long um so needless to say i didn't really get hardly any sleep last night so if anybody that really really knows me knows if i don't get my damn sleep which is cool like when i'm grinding i'm grinding but it's for a reason, and if, if I don't get any sleep, like I'm cool with it. But like my weekends, I try to like catch up on sleep, cause I've deprived myself of sleep throughout the week. So last night I didn't get any sleep hardly, and so today it's just been like I've been forgetful. I've been just like, it's, good thing is I got sleep. The bad thing is I didn't get shit accomplished, right? I still gotta edit this video. You're you're freaking watching. This is two days worth of material, of footage. I gotta compile that, make it into a video. Um, it's like five five thirty now, so or it's almost six o'clock now in the evening. And I gotta upload this tomorrow. Remember that shit. And so I gotta do that, and I gotta do some other things. So and I gotta go to the gym right now. But what I'm about to do right now is I'm gonna go and um, what? Let's. I'll show you. I'm gonna deliver this to um, Kate and Marley's mom. Um, you know. And again, I think that it's very important that um, you have a good relationship with your kids' mothers. You know what I'm saying? Even though if you're not together, for one, you don't want your kids to see you argue all the damn time. And that's their mom at the end of the day. No matter what happened between y'all, like, that's their mom. And how do you feel, if, you know, regardless if it's your dad or not, you know, saying shit about your mom all the time? There's a lot of people out there, especially it's in the norm nowadays, to have, you know, divorced parents. So how to make you feel when, you know, saying your parents were kind of talking about one another in front of you? You know what I'm saying? So I, I, this whack to me, right? So I try my best to like make sure that they're taken care of and that we have a, a good relationship as good as possible. So um, and again, I, I don't. This is not. I don't want. To, I'm not trying to hype myself up because <laughs> I done done my fair share of shit. Believe me. It's just that at this point in my life, I'm just like, man, like. Let's just get along, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and truth be told, like, we're, we're pretty good friends at this point, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop this off, and then I'm headed to the gym, so. <sighs> Schedule is, uh, yeah, so. All right, cardio is complete. I am wore the fuck out. I had a great, great freaking workout. It started off fucking terrible. Um. Man, you never know. Uh, let me eat real quick. So I decided to come to the park. It's a nice day, you know what I'm saying? So I figured I'd come down here and eat my meal, post-workout meal, and kind of talk to y'all for a minute. Haven't really had a good one-on-one -on -one talk in a while. So, uh, well, what? Look at that bird. It's a dope ass picture. Anyway, I <laughs> haven't really talked to y'all in a while, so let me find somewhere to post up and uh, I'll holler at y'all in a second. Alright, found a spot. Let me first start off by saying Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I hope y'all had a lovely day. Um, yeah. But anyway, so. Man, today's just been one of those days, man, and, you know, 
I went to the gym and some shit happened before the gym and you know it's listen time is something that we can't get back you know being respectful of people's time is very important it's extremely important because it's finite right you can't buy it back you can't you know what I'm saying like every second that goes by you'll never get back again there's that you know what I'm saying and and I think a lot of people take that shit for granted I mean, everybody has in the past, stuff. everybody has at some point, but it's, it's very important to be cognizant of that, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I feel like, you know, competing, you really understand that because every single workout, like in prep, it counts, it matters. Because, you know, you're, you're, you're doing this to, to get to a common goal, uh, you know what I'm saying, a, a goal, whatever, to be able to be the best you can possibly be on stage. And... Um, Everything is timed. Your, your, your meals are timed, you know what I'm saying? Like, cardio's timed. I do cardio I do cardio around my meals. My meal, my workouts are around my meals. And my meals are timed, you know what I'm saying? So like, you have these windows of time that you have to be in the gym working out and training. Um, so it, it gives you a new perspective on time and appreciating time. And I feel like anybody who's been in business or if you're an entrepreneur, you know that if something can save you time, it is so freaking effect. Like it, it's, if you can save people time, you'll be a millionaire, right? That's the reason why convenience stores. If you go buy a bottle of ketchup at a gas station, it costs like six dollars because you're saving people time. So you you know what I'm saying the demand um, is high, so you can you can charge more. But. But anyway, back to my original point, you know, sometimes you never know when um, you'll find, where you'll find motivation or who you'll find motivation from, you know. Some people let you down that you wouldn't expect, and some people motivate you that you wouldn't expect, you know. Um, it's just one of those things where, to me, in my opinion, I feel like I try to have expectations of people. You know, I keep my, their, my expectations of people way to fuck down here that way. They can easily step over them. But, you know, you're only human. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, there's that. But, I guess the moral of the story is, depend on yourself. No matter what, you have you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I started this journey by myself. And, you know, I've, most of the time I work out by myself. You know? I don't have anybody that holds my hand. You know? Because it's not easy. A lot of people can't do it. And stay consistent. You know? So. It was today's workout. Was, first of all, it was the best workout I've had all prep. And secondly, it kind of took me back to the essence of when. You know, I, I was by myself and I started shit by myself and going to the gym by myself and people thought I was crazy. You know, not going to play basketball, not going to skate, but going to the gym and, you know, shit like that. So, you know, I kind of got that eye of the tiger back. I kind of got that, 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 that flame reunited, or reunited, that flame um, ignited again, you know what I'm saying? So, it, it was dope in that regard. But at the same time, man, like... I feel like everything's a lesson for the good or for the bad. If you have a bad day, it's a lesson in it. You know what I'm saying? Either what to do or what not to do anymore. Um, so I, I have a new perspective on a couple things, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, don't depend on people, you know what I'm saying, to have your back because you have to have your back. You have to be your biggest fan. You have to love you. You have to look out for you. Don't depend on somebody else because when they let you down or they don't come through you know okay cool like whatever like I didn't expect that anyway but I feel like if you have if you put your expectations in the wrong places then you know you're just setting yourself up um, at least that's my thoughts by opinion so I could just be talking on my ass right now but I'm just saying but anyway now I'm, I'm getting down on my soapbox now and I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna enjoy this uh, this view.
and watch this family over here as they um, enjoy each other's company, reminiscing, reflecting back on the time when I used to be mine, you know what I'm saying? I used to do that shit. But it'll come again, man. Everything happens for a reason, you know what I'm saying? So, even the, some of the grimiest shit in the freaking world happens for a reason and you'll be a better person, you know, making it through that. But, I hope y'all like today's vlog. I didn't want to make it dismal. <laughs> my bad, it's just that, again, this is unscripted, man. So I'm just gonna give y'all like my life when I'm going through this into the third. So um, you're looking at it. But please like this video. Give it a thumbs up, man. Help your boy out. And don't forget, I do coaching. I do meal plans, I do, I do workouts, and I do coaching, which consists of, um, you know, weekly Skype sessions, um, customized meal plans, uh, customized workouts and um, you know we, we do weekly check-ins make sure that you're staying on your goals and we can interact with each other you, we can talk you can ask as many questions as you want and um, you know just trying to make sure you get to your goals and everything like that smoothly or you can just purchase a, a workout plan by itself you just purchase a nutrition plan by itself but go to tktranscend.com I'll put it on the screen but anyway I will see y'all later. Again, happy Mother's Day to the wonderful mothers out there. And y'all my kingdom, y'all my family. Kings and queens, stay up.